Vile nilikuwa pale bunge la mwananchi Jivanji tuko na mpango ya kuanzisha bunge la mwananchi Isiolo na Marsabit mwaka huu. Because we want to take this spirit to, another, to other counties. Uh, my brother, I will use what is happening in northern Kenya. Unajua a good number of you are here saying, warriors have money, warriors are rich. I want to disagree with that statement today. Uh, first of all, yes, there are people who have money. There are people who are hardworking businessmen and businesswomen. But I would like to point to the mediocrity of the leaders we've elected. I'm not going to blame the Kenyan constitution. I will blame the leaders we've elected. When there is a flood in this country, outaskia Kisumu County complaining, outaskia Kiambu complaining, when there is a flood in this country, northern Kenya is the one which is complaining. When there is famine in this country, kukiwa na bala nja, outaskia Kisumu ikilia, ama siaya ikilia, utaskia ni Garissa wajia Mandera. I want to tell you, since devolution came, we used to complain that Moi government and other leaders were the ones who brought marginalization, of which it is true, the session of paper 10 of 1965. But from 2010, the marginalization in northern Kenya, and I'm speaking to your question, is not because of the constitution, it is because of the leaders we've elected. These big skyscrapers you are seeing, wateni leo ni wambia ukweli. The true hardworking warriors, we know ourselves, we know them. The money you are seeing building these big houses, big skyscrapers, big mansion, these are the looted money from the county governments of northern Kenya. That is what they are doing. I'm not lying to you. The other day in my county of Isiolo, they had a budget for fisheries, 40 million. Na hakuna waria nakula samaki. So what are you budgeting for? If the local consumption of fish in my county is less than 1% and you are budgeting 1 million, I mean 40 million for that. That is total, total thievery, okay? And secondly, just to use another example, my friend, uh, I would like to use which example for, for Garissa County government. We had a director for water and sewerage company who had a fake certificate and he has been director for the water company for close to eight years. Simuliona yoko news. You saw that. And you know people here munasema warriors are rich, warriors are rich. The problem with us, we are hiding behind religion. That is our bigger problem. And I want to use this statement. Okay? Yes. No, 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 no. Let me respond to Dugu Yango. Ukisikia waria mengia hoteli. Anasema chakula ni halal. Ama ni haram. Sidiyo? Tunapenda kila kitu haram, kila kitu halal. So we care so much about halal food, but we, we, we don't care, we care so much about halal food, but not halal income. Let us get the statement very right. Okay? We care so much about halal food, but not halal income. Nasema ini pok, ini chakulambaya, but we draw the line where it comes to looting from the community. So when people are here saying that the people of northern Kenya have money and they are building these big houses, the people who are looting from us and building these skyscrapers and everything you are seeing in Nairobi, these are our leaders. I cannot explain an MCA from my county only serving for two years is buying a 50 million mansion in Kilimani. I cannot explain that. The other day, I will not mention the county, while it's a free ambulance program, they allocated 35 million. And still the local residents, they pay 10,000 for them to hire an ambulance. That doesn't make sense. And then to my final, my final response to what has befallen our country, actually one of those guys who died in the plane crash is, is a guy from home. He's, he's my friend, Captain Mohamed Sora. And may, may God rest his soul in peace. Just a minute. What do you have? Yes. To understand the halal is very difficult. But I will try to answer it. Yes. And I know where I'm wrong, you will correct me. When we mention halal, if many of you happen to go to any butchery, umeona imiandikuwa halal butchery. The word halal is understood very well by the Muslim. It means, kitu yenye mechinjwa na muislamu, na sazile anachinja, 
anaomba Mungu anatoa uhai ya hiyo kitu kama ni ngombe ama ni kuku anakata na anaomba kuna kuna, kuna wanajua I knew I used to know I used to know it kuna maombi wana wanaabudu akikata inamaanisha naomba Mungu anatoa hai ya kiumbe ya so when you say halal si kitu imenyongwa like some other guys are doing i think i'm right mr thank you so much yes uh, and actually to add on to add on that halal also means getting your dues without looting from the poor okay getting your money without harming the most vulnerable in the community I'm telling you one thing, Miss Itawadanganya. You cannot describe someone owning iPhone 15 as rich. That is not Unajua you guys have been using this statement that ukiona waria akona iPhone 15 and everything. Our poverty level in northern Kenya stands at over 65%. Illiteracy level is over 60%. So who is rich here? The leaders who are looting actually if you want to find governors for northern Kenya you don't have to go to those, ca- those counties you just need to be in Kilimani they all have their houses there okay as i finish on the the cdf issue the plane crash uh, i'm a muslim i'm allowed not to comment on issues that i don't have knowledge about but this is what i will have to say for those cdf general francis ogola captain muhammad sora who is from my home tunawaombea Mungu na Mungu ailaze roho yenu mali pema peponi and my urge to the Kenyan government it is high time even if it is in terms of budgeting we need to say goodbye to world war to the second world war to the cold war kind of transport system one thing we need to agree is our logistic system is outdated we don't have to use these old helicopters we need to look into our maintenance because the people who are using these are the people who are protecting our country every man and woman in uniform they are taken the oath of protecting every kenyan so we mourn with them and we pray for them and we also urge the government to have a speedy uh, conclusion of the investigation thank you so much nimeshukuru